So guys, I just want to show a little clip from yesterday's update where we were talking about the current daily candle, which closed, of course, last night. The daily time frame. That means that we actually can go below today. We could come back down to the 618 today if you wanted, but we sh must see or should see a close above the 050 slash the previous all time high 19.666. So guys, as you saw, we called it. So we were below. As we said, we're allowed to go below. But as long as we're closing above, it's going to give us higher probability chances of trying to go to the 20 EMA because this is our range low and this is our range high. This is signaled by this golden box. You can see my golden box is on the closes here and here. So support and resistance. And you can see we're bouncing from here again. The only thing in our way that we're struggling with at the moment is this 12 EMA over here, which is what actually sent us below the previous all time high, which is signaled again by this red line. I wish I could get it exact. Of course I can't. Let's just change that to six. That's the previous all time high. I don't know why markets are troll. But yeah, basically what this is telling me is we are now trapped again inside another range right here. So we're actually trapped within this between the 12 and the previous all time high now. So we're going to keep going sideways. You're going to keep having fake outs until a move is decided. So we need to close outside either the 12 or below the previous all time high. So yeah, we're just trapped guys. It's as simple as that. I just need to wait. There's not, we can't really predict other than we're at support. Technically, when you find support, you go to resistance. We are at some sort of resistance, but this is the short term resistance. This is our true. We do have the 20, which could actually send us lower if we do hold that as resistance. But for the moment, you're just trapped between the 12 and the 20 down here. If you saw my Twitter earlier, um, I was basically saying how we are about three X's, or roughly three X's from the all time high. And if we were going to 10K, just as everyone believes so, then of course, let's just go to 10K. The all time high is almost six, well, yeah, six to seven X's. If we go to 10K in the top of seven, uh, 70K, we're six to seven X's away from the all time high. So. Of course, do you think that the whales will allow this? Of, um, at the moment, again, we're 3x away from the all-time high. So if you're buying down here, once we get back up to 70k, you're going to have made three times the money that you have right now. But if we go down to 10k and we head back up to 70k, you're going to have made seven times the amount of money. Now, I bet all of you are creaming yourselves. Oh, oh 7x, I'm dying for that. I'm going to go all in at 10k. But the fact of the matter is, they want you to cream yourselves. They want you to think it's going to go to 10K. Day by day, I'm believing it's less and less and less likely to go down there because more and more and more and more and more people keep flipping bearish, keep calling for 10K, 3K and whatever. And the more you do so, the less it will happen. So just like when we're going up, Bitcoin's going to 200K, it's going to 200K. Everyone's saying 200K, well, it never came. So it's probably going to happen this time around. So. Again, just for me personally, everything that I tell you on my channel is data driven. I'm showing you on the charts, but this, what I've said today about me believing that we're not going to 10K, that is not data driven. That, yes, hands up. That is me picking it out of my bum for the first time on the channel. But it's just logical thinking. Do you understand what I mean, guys? Do you really believe the whales are going to give you a 7x opportunity just back to the previous all time high to then go how many more x's afterwards just to the first target? That's already a double up here. You would have already done three x's to get up here. So from here, three x to the top and then to 200k, three x after uh, reaching the top. But if we went down to 10K, yeah, do you really think you're gonna get that many X's, 20 X's on Bitcoin? Look, you might do, amazing if it does happen, but logically thinking, I don't think the whales are gonna allow us to do so, especially with Bitcoin. So this is why I believe that it's better to be in alts. And yeah, again, if you just think about it logically, it, for me personally, it just doesn't make sense for the whales to allow us to get a 7X just back to the previous all time high. But this is the sort of thing that will happen on altcoins. Just for me personally, I don't see this on Bitcoin. Again, we could equally, after this relief rally, we could dump down to there. We can. 
because we don't know if this is game over yet. We have to wait. Again, we're waiting for this bearish crossover here when this 55 crosses over the 69. The 69 is this blue one. So you, you can see at the moment, they're in a bullish cross, still in a bullish cross. So once that actually has formed a bearish cross, the bottom is already in. I keep getting people saying, Louis, is the bottom in? How do you know if the bottom is in yet? Every video I keep saying, I'm waiting for this bearish cross to tell me that. Without it, I can't be told that it is. I can't tell you that it is because I'm waiting for that bearish cross, which signals the higher low, which means that the bottom was already in. I'm waiting for that bearish cross, which signals that this is the higher low and that the bottom is already in. So guys, the bottom could already be in. I just can't say with 100% because again, I need this to cross to show us the higher low that proves that the bottom was in. So as simple as that, this could take another month. I've said this last week. If this cross could take another month to two months, please listen to what I'm saying in the videos. It's so annoying having to repeat myself over and over and over again. When every th single thing that you need, every single question that you ask, where are we going? Is the bottom in? All of these questions are answered in my videos if you just listen properly so thank you guys for the support on the channel again what are we waiting for to say that the bottom is in this bearish cross the 69 and the 55 ema once the 69 goes over the 55 the bottom is in that's what we're waiting for the first signal that the capitulation has already happened was this 20 and 69 when this crossed over it's saying that the capitulation is now going to happen i can prove this over here when the blue and the purple cross, the capitulation is going to happen. So it happened on this, it went and it happened. Then the next cross is saying the higher low. So that's all we're waiting for. I can go back again, prove it to you again if you still don't believe me. And again, what I'm doing is not out my asshole in terms of this. The thing about 10K, yes, it is this, no. Why? Because I'm showing you the past charts, back testing my strategy. I'm proving on the old charts that my strategy works. So on the old chart, as I've shown you now in 2015 and in the 2018 bear market, once this bearish cross forms, not bullish, bearish, once this bearish cross has formed, the bottom was already in. Once this 20 and the 69 forms, it means the capitulation is going to happen. Once the 20 and the 69 crosses, the capitulation is going to happen. Once the 55 and the 69 cross, the capitulations happen. This is the higher low. The bottom is in. So I hope you guys are understanding that. 20 and 69. The capitulation is going to happen. Well, there you go. 55 and 69. Once they do the bearish cross, it signals that there's a higher low. I'm waiting for that. And then the bottom is already in. So the fact that they're almost crossing over and almost touching is telling you guys that, yeah, that should have been the bottom already. If they're uh, about to cross over, it means that, yeah, the bottom was already in. So, but 100% confirmation is wait for it to happen because again, we don't want any anything to F us over. So just wait for that to cross over. Then that means 100%, 100%. The bottom was in. That is what the Bitcoin chart on the weekly time frame has proven in its history since uh, 2015. Because that's only when they did the first bearish cross there. And you can see the bottom was already in. Over here, the bottom was already in. And we're just waiting for this nice double bottom also. You can see there's a lot to do still. This is the first leg down. Come back up, second bottom. Second bottom forms crossover because we need a pump once we pump this 69 ema will start going up they'll start touching okay we need to go up for these to start touching then it's going to go back down and they're going to one's going to get dragged over the other one and that's how you basically form the bearish cross here we need to go up this might go up a little then it's going to come down and it's going to come down and cross like that and once you have that higher low it's already crossed over and then that's saying wait for the higher high buy once you break this high over here Okay, long, all the way to 70k. Simple as that. Perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Let's get to 100 likes. If you want the education, it's on my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. Let's get to 1k followers on there. Turn the notification on for YouTube and Twitter. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.